Stylist Heather and Claire Bear here. We are gonna do her seven month update, which I cannot believe. This girly right here is seven months old. Like, what? That's so crazy. Sorry if this setup looks kind of funny. I'm trying to get us both in the picture here, and I thought it'd be good to see her. So, as you can see, she's sitting up. She can sit up very well now by herself. I usually have the boppy pillow around her. So if she does fall over, falls back or anything, she's got her cushion there. But not like at, fir at first I would put it all the way around her and now I just kind of sit it back a little bit because she will, if she does kind of fall over, she's reaching for something. Usually she can reach for something and then she'll go get it and then she'll be like on her belly and stuff. So that's what we do now for that. She's doing great. She's... Are you sticking out your tongue? She wants to stick out her tongue all the time. She is trying to crawl. When she tries to reach for stuff, she ends up going backwards. Because she's like trying to get it. But she's not yet like up on her knees and hands like trying to crawl like that. But she just kind of will reach for something and go backwards. Or if she's reaching for something like over to the side, she'll end up turning and kind of scooting to the side a little bit. And things like that. She's just trying to move a little bit. I think before long she'll be trying to race and chase after Kinsley, her big sister, watching her run around, and I think once she starts to crawl or walk some more, that she'll be like upset probably when Kinsley like runs off to her room. She'll be like, "Why wait on me?" So Kinsley, I think that'll be a good helper. I think she's gonna be super excited when Claire starts to get into moving a little bit more too. So her schedule now, okay. Her schedule, she sleeps all night. Um, wakes up usually, she's been waking up earlier now. She doesn't sleep till 9 or 10 like she used to when she was younger. She gets up, I think usually she hears Kinsley in the morning, um, me trying to get her ready for school and up eating breakfast. So it's usually like 7.30 when she gets up now, sometimes 8. And so by 8 she'll have her first bottle in the morning. And then depending on how her morning's going, if... I have to take her to the salon with me. I'll feed her at 9.30 before we go to the salon. So some rice cereal with bananas or avocados or something like that. And then I will, then we'll go on to the salon. But most mornings she doesn't have the extra cereal in the morning. But sometimes, and depending on if we have a big day going on, if we had a church, whatever our morning looks like, it depends if she has that or not in the morning. Then lunch, she'll have a bottle, eight ounce bottle. Sometimes now that we're on to the baby food and we've just now, so just now, she's just a little bit after seven months old, we have switched to the bigger second stage baby food. Um, it's a, like almost two things of like the little first baby food stage. So we'll give her that in a four ounce bottle sometimes for lunch. And then, oh yeah, she'll take a nap usually. So let me go back. Before lunch, she'll take a nap usually 10.30 to 11. Then she'll sleep till like 12 or 12.30, just depending. Um, and she's kind of on her own schedule. I just let, I just feed her when she's hungry. I let her stay awake until she gets sleepy. And then I'll rock her. Or sometimes she just ends up falling asleep playing. And then she'll take her nap. And then whenever she wakes up, she's ready to eat, depending on however long that is. It could be 30 minutes. It could be an hour. It could be, just never know. So... Then she'll take a nap, usually about two-ish, um, going on three, depending on how her other schedules have been. And then usually by four, four thirty, five sometimes, she's ready for dinner, and she'll have either eight ounce bottle or the baby food and four ounce bottle. And then she'll not have another nap. So she only, she's down to like two naps now. She won't have another nap. We just keep her up playing and stuff, and then. Um, sometimes she may take a little nap, but not a big nap at, at the afternoon. It might be 30 minutes, 15 minutes, just something small. And then we'll, I'll get her, her last bottle, 8 ounce bottle, will be about 8. Sometimes it's 7.30ish, um, 8, sometimes 8.30, just depends how her schedule has been through the day. And then, sorry, this is like a long schedule part, but... I just want to tell you what her schedule is now. So then we'll probably, I would say, 8.30. We're getting Kenzo and Claire ready for bed. Um, they both get a bath together now most nights. 
um, put her, I put the lavender lotion on her, we'll turn her sound maker on, kind of just like her regular night routine, turn off the lights and everything, or we'll get her ready for bed, and then sometimes she'll have a rice cereal, um, like bananas or avocados thing <laughs> together at night time, usually about 9 o'clock right before she's ready to go to bed. She's not a baby that falls asleep with a bottle. She usually stays awake with a bottle, um, or takes a bottle, then stays awake, and then is ready to sleep. She's always been on that schedule. So, even at nighttime, that's how she is. But Kenzo, she would take her bottle to go to sleep, but she does. It's just, they're different. So, then, we will, she'll eat that and sit in her hot chair, usually play for a little bit, and she'll start rubbing her eyes that she's getting real sleepy. I might rock her for, like, a minute, maybe. Not even that long sometimes. Lay her down, and she's out for the night. Usually by, what, 9, 9, 9.30, depending on, um, sometimes it's going on 10, but then she'll sleep until the next morning. So, oh yeah, she's been saying dad, dad a lot. I've heard her say, I feel like I've heard her say mama, um, and different things like that. Little things, me and Kinsley feel like we hear her say stuff, and it's just funny fun for us. She's loving sweet potatoes. She absolutely loves the bananas and rice. But yeah, she's got a, she has a teething necklace that she doesn't have on now. Some days she wears it and some days she doesn't. But yeah, she's got a little toothbrush and Kenzel likes to brush her teeth in the bathtub or just bath time. I usually will brush her teeth with that little thing. She, I don't know if y'all seen the vlog where she sits in the laundry basket. Usually if I'm going like to my room to fold clothes or like I'm doing dishes in the kitchen somewhere that I don't have like a setup like a play thing like this in the floor with her blanket then I'll set her up in that and she'll play for a little bit. She loves her jumperoo jumping away and a lot of times when you're just holding her um, she'll be jumping away. She loves to jump. Oh yeah she's grabbing at everything now. Everything. She wants to grab to play with everything. Even Kinsley's toys she'll be playing and She'll go to grab stuff and can out like she's a big monster trying to get her princesses or something. <laughs> it's so funny to see them starting to play together. I think before long, like she's doing, like she'll do this at stuff, like she's wanting to climb up. Um, and I think before long she'll be grabbing on stuff to like stand up. Yeah, she always looks at her hands and she started to say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Well, she has been waving. If you want to see in a vlog, I'm sure I've got it on there. So she got her bottle on two teeth. No other teeth yet, but those two on the bottom definitely come in. I'm not sure what she weighs now. I think she's probably just like 18 pounds. At her six month checkup, she was 16 pounds. And she's still staying pretty little, but I think that she's gotten a lot chunkier here lately. We just started baby food back at six months, like right at it. So I feel like a month of eating baby food, and she is definitely getting chunkier. <laughs> Chunky monkey. So. Her clothes size she's in is, she's still wearing a lot of three to six month clothing. Even though she's seven months, she's still a little bit, I guess, on the smaller side. Sometimes she'll wear six to nine, but I feel like those are a little bit, still a little too big. Her diaper size, she's in diaper size twos. And as of right now, we don't really have any doctor's appointments set up. She'll go back, I think, at nine months. And... I do have a concern about her eyes that I'm going to go to soon, I think, just to get those checked out. Um, <laughs> seems like sometimes they go, like, t inward, like. But I remember Kinsley's doing that, so I haven't been, like, that concerned or worried about it, and the doctor hasn't said anything um, when he's seen her, but I think I might bring that up just to kind of mention it and just see what they have to say about it. And then we, she's still going to work with me in the mornings as of right now. But only a couple more weeks she'll be with me at the salon, and then she'll be staying with my grandma and Kinsley all summer. And then she'll start at the preschool that Kinsley and my grandma go to now, where my grandma works next year when they start back. So only a few, a little bit longer that I'll be bringing her with me, um, which is good and bad, like good and sad, because I like bringing her with me. I love having the girls at work with me and everything, but then it gets a little bit hard because you don't know exactly how she's going to be while she's at this form of me. If she'll be good or fussy, but mom's there so she's always helped. So for the most part she's been great. Kinsley was amazing when I took her and she's been really good too. So I've been so lucky with that, for real. They have been amazing baby girls. My mommy works at the hair salon and this will be awesome to look back at when they get older. I remember with them going to the hair shop with me, and I remember my mom having hair salons too. So, say hey, say hey.
say, hey guys. <laughs> and then sister loves her, plays with her all the time. Just like I said, I think they're going to be best little buddies and best friends as they get older. So it'll be fun to see them grow up together. So I think that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. Seven months, Claire is, I cannot believe it. And going on eight months, and that means she'll probably be crawling soon because Kinsley started crawling at eight months. So, love you guys. We'll see you soon. Subscribe, comment, like. Check out hairstyleshouter.com. Our daily vlogs every day. We're here. So, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Say bye, guys. Hey. Here's my good girl. Come here. Let me see your passy. Oh. Did I get your pussy? Say hey guys. Say hi. Hi. Hey. 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 I'm gonna get it, get it, get it. I'm gonna get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. It's so hard to believe. Like, I was sitting in this exact spot filming daily vlogs with this girl every week, just about. And now she's here in seven months. So crazy. This time. This almost exact time last year, we were finding out that she was a girl. So isn't that crazy to think a year later that she's here? I remember thinking that day, like, how crazy it'll be to have two girls in her lives. So, so awesome. She likes Kinsley's princesses. You gonna be a princess too, that right, Kinsley? Go have two princesses. <laughs> two princesses. See, look at her stand up. She wants to stand up.